Hi, everybody. This is God Sad for the Sad Truth. Some people who are upset that uh, I am critiquing Carl Jung have been asking me to uh, offer a detailed analysis of why I think uh, much of his uh, writings are utter gibberish. Uh, for now, I won't do that for the same reason that uh, I also won't uh, offer a detailed analysis of why creationism is wrong and why astrology uh, is wrong and why the earth is not flat. But what I thought I would certainly do uh, for today, since many people seem to have uh, been infused with a renewed interest in uh, Carl Jung, is to read for you a passage uh, by Carl Jung. And then you tell me whether it's a real passage or whether it is a made-up passage meant to satirize Carl Jung. And if people are unable to appreciate the value of that exercise, then I'm afraid you're part of the problem. So here we go. Man suffers because he rejects the animus of his inner self whilst foregoing the proportionality of intentionality. The collective unconscious embodies the proto-archetypal projection onto the abyss of the shadow. The serpent is a symbolic seductress of the ego. It slivers in a mytho mythological wholeness, aware of its power to cause chaos, but ever so careful as to not fracture the divisibility of the self. Eros and Maya are within us all. They are fire and water. They illuminate and extinguish. The animosity of the subjective experience always turns inward, wherein the fatality of suffering is but one step toward enlightenment. The integration of individuation is the praxis on which all myths are created, shared, but ultimately rejected. The psychic energy cannot be archaic if it is recognized as the universal consciousness of the personal unconscious. It tantalizes us with hope, but keeps us desirous of Antigone's hate and Seneca's desires. Celibacy and lust cast a dual shadow on man's trajectory to the path toward luminary transcendence. So there you have it. I mean, in reading this passage, I might have been wrong about Young. He does seem to be quite deep. Have a good day, everybody. Cheers.